It's you up the breast. Oh, yeah, it was released. That's great. It's great. How's Dad? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out soon. He, I was on my way home and he called and said that he wanted me to come see him right yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, I get the same message. Any idea what's uh, going on? He didn't say. He was really pale. No, he's just been there a long time. He probably just needs a little bit of company. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Doc, that is 10 minutes of my life listening to numbers that don't mean anything to me. Just tell me. The numbers are bad, Clint. Your cardiac output is nowhere near what it should be. That thing that you put him in the hell vat, it's not working? The left ventricle assist device is helping. It bought you some time. Just not as much as we'd like. Well, put something else in there. There is nothing else, Clint. You need a new heart. Now. Oh, the good news is you're still at the top of the transplant list. Hey, I'm number one. <laughs> as soon as a compatible heart's available, you uh, are... Slim chance of that. What? Well, my blood type B negative is not exactly common. That's right. That's the first part, though, being a match, right? Yes. How long do I have? That's hard to say. Weeks? Days. If I were you, I would get your affairs in order. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Yeah. Your family should be told about the situation. Hey. Kids, come on in. Doc, thanks a lot. Thank you. We'll be back soon. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Dad. Mm. Hi. Hey. You going home? Yeah, it's a good thing I bounce, huh? <laughs> Dad, you all right? Can I get you one water? Dad, is there something that they can give you for that? No, sweetheart. They can't. I don't think Natalie's gonna be fighting anytime soon. So how's Liam? Oh, he's uh, he's fine. He's fine. Uh, they got he's a baby, and he didn't even know what was going on. He's at home with with Brody, but he can't wait to see his grandpa. And uh, and Bree, she was asking about the the card that she made oh, you. Yes, I got it. This is a big heart with a a Tinker Bell bandage over. Yeah. Joey, I bet she's running you ragged. No, no, not at all. Not at all. She and Ryder are the most fun that I have these days. Well, they need you. All of you, you have to stick together now. <laughs> and everybody that you love, they need to be close to you. Chad, what do you mean? I took care of Duke as best I could, but I'm not gonna be able to do that for your kids. Dad, you're a great grandpa, okay? And you're gonna be out of here in no time. No, I won't. Is that is that what the doctor said? Because you know, if you're if you're just here for a while or you need a lot of physical therapy, we'll, we'll be here for you. Darling, there's nothing that you can do. That's not true. Dad, we're gonna figure this out. I'm dying. What's going on? My heart is failing. There's no way around it. So is uh was that why you you confessed everything that you did? I mean, Dad, how long have you known? Why didn't you why didn't you tell us? Well, you kids didn't need to be worrying about that. We're not kids. Oh well, yeah, yeah, my kids always will be. We should have been here. I mean, do Kevin and Cord do they know that Kevin and Cord are doing exactly what they should be doing, keeping BE afloat. So there's something to provide for all of you. Yeah, and Joey and I are here. You know, we could have been doing. Could have been doing what? Could have been sitting here, waiting for a better answer. Yeah, or finding one. Son, I've tried everything. I didn't tell you because I'd hoped that I didn't have to. But so far, nothing's worked. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not giving up. There's got to be a doctor around here somewhere who can do something. Well, there's only one thing that can help me now. Jay, I heard you have a cardiac patient on the transplant list. At the top of the list. He hasn't got long. We should talk. We can find you a heart, Dad. There's no time, Joy. Then we'll find you one fast, okay? You're not giving up, you hear me? I can't control this, darling. And what time I have left, I want to spend with my family. Well, we're not going anywhere. Well, yeah, you are right now, because I'm sending you on a mission. Both of you. Name it. Before I die, I want to see you both with the people who will make you happy for the rest of your lives. What is happening to... Dad, we're not going to waste time talking about my love life. Or mine. 
I don't want to die being worried about the two of you. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, we're fine. Like hell you are. You're lost. Both of you. And a large part of it is because of me. <laughs> I just <laughs> wanted you to be happy. The way I once was with your mother. And I'm so sorry that I stuck my nose into your business. You didn't do anything to me. No, and I'm pretty sure I was an idiot about Aubrey all by myself. Okay, I'm, I'm a saint. You two screwed it up all by yourselves. <laughs> but try again, my dear Natalie. You belong with John, and you know it. And you, Joey, you belong with Kelly. And every minute that you are not together, is a minute that you will never, ever get again. This is the only thing I'm going to ask of you two. So promise your dad that you'll try again. I'm waiting. You two want to end up alone? Take it from me. It's no fun. Dad, please stop. Can we just talk about what's going on with you right now? Dying wish. Yes or no? We'll do what we can. Go. Now go make your old man happy. I'm gonna see you soon. I love you. I love you too. Do you need anything? I love you. See you soon. You come back to me with good news. Oh my god. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Look, I gotta go. Do you need a ride? Uh no, I'm fine. I'm uh I'll see you at the house. Sorry, Nanny. Yeah, well, not as sorry as you're gonna be if you don't go in there right now and make peace with our father before he dies. Hi. Excuse me. Um, was Kelly Kramer moved? Well, she was discharged. Her friend, the detective, took her home a little while ago. I don't want to talk about Clint. Actually, I have some good news for you. Are you ready for some good news? Does it have something to do with why you're wearing that suit? Gigi and I are getting married today. What? I'm on my way to the courthouse right now, but it's just Gigi, me, and Shane. We don't want to make a big deal, so you're not missing anything. <gasps> I just... Oh, congratulations. Oh, this is huge. This is so... We have to throw you a big party. I mean, finally. I'm so happy for you two. <sighs> Thanks. Tell Dad. You know, he really... You really like Shane, and, and if he knew that you were getting married, maybe... Look, I, I have to go. Rex! Listen. I know that Dad did terrible things to you, but he's a good person. He really is, and he loves his family. And I know he puts up a huge fight, but deep down inside, he loves you. You really believe that? Yes. Yes, I do, and you, you don't have years to decide. You might not even have a week. If you don't go and make this right now, you're going to regret it the rest of your life.
That's what I'm saying to you. Hey. Sorry, I should have called you. I, uh, okay. stepped out your room with the, the hospital and said John brought you home. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Um, I'm gonna go. I don't want to intrude. Well, you're not intruding. What? What's wrong? My father's dying. Oh, my. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>